I have never seen a movie waste so many hot chicks at one time like this movie does, but it keeps you watching. No, seriously, it keeps you watching. The Spirit is one of the worst waste of time and waste of my money that I ever spent and sat through. Because not only did I go pay to see this crap in theaters seven years ago, this year will be seven years since this movie's released. Holy crap. I haven't seen it since then, so this is my only my second time watching this movie. And oh my god, it is as worse as I remember it. Okay? A plot. The fuck is this plot about? No, seriously, what is the plot about? All I know is... The octopus, played by Samuel L. Jackson, wants to kill the spirit. And I guess rule the world or something? Or save, rule the city? I, I don't fucking know. Frank Miller is the director of this movie. and Oh my god, what the hell did you write and direct? This movie literally made no damn sense. Okay? Only thing we get to know is... Samuel L. Jackson injected Danny Colt with a serum. We don't see him do it, but we see he we find out how we actually show kind of how he got to where he became anyway to become this spirit. So he injects himself with it, and now they both have these weird superpowers. And Scarlett Johansson his hench, is his henchman. Okay. Nick Fury and Black Widow are villains. Okay. Sure. I'll bite. The best actor to come out of this movie was Stana Kattuk. I know what you want to Jay, who is Stana Kattuk? This sexy thing right here. Look at that. Oh, just look at that body. Yeah. She's cute, isn't she? But yes. She had a good year that year. Kind of. Because the month before this movie came out, she made a cameo in uh, Skyfall at the very end. Not Skyfall. Casino Royale. Not, <sighs> Quantum of Solace. At the very end of the movie. And then she went on to become a star in this movie. Well, I guess kind of star in this movie. And then, of course, a couple months later, we'll go on to start this show. So... Yeah, she's had a good year. And it's funny because they said twice in this movie, you're going to make Detective one day. Because in this movie, she's a, a rookie cop, basically. And I like how she, she can just change her voice whenever she wants to. Cause her voice is very deep. Not in this movie. She sounds just like a young rookie. So it's kind of cool. And of course, they keep saying twice, you're going to make Detective one day. What does she play in this show? A detective. <laughs> So, yeah, since this movie makes no sense, I guess I might as well just point that out real quick because it gives me something else to talk about. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, this this movie is weird. The acting is odd. It's not bad. It's not it's not very good. It, it it's odd. I I can't explain it right. I don't know if it's because what how the story is and how the writing process is. Or if it was just, they were trying to fit it into the, the timeline the movie is based in. I don't know. It's it's odd. This is a very odd ass movie. Okay. Now how the hell did the studio let Frank Miller direct this? Gave him $60 million and a Christmas Day release? Is beyond me. You should have let fucking... Robert Rodriguez or somebody take over. I mean, at least Robert Rodriguez did Sin City justice. And I'm pretty sure it was because of Sin City, this movie was stylized in that form format, the way Sin City was shot. Because the spirit is not really something like Sin City. I don't see the spirit being a Sin City-esque movie. Because, I mean, the, the fucking spirit wears a blue outfit. The hair is all black. Okay. 
but you know, yeah, the plot makes no sense. It, it it's it cuts to random shit over and over and over again. Okay, it it, it it's like wait, what? What? <laughs> you get random action scenes every couple of minutes. Barely any in-depth character development in this movie at all. Besides the Spirits part and Samuel Jackson part, that's about it. We don't know anything about Scarlett Johansson. Eva Mendez is the Spirit X Flame. We know a little bit about her and why she became who she is in this movie. And you got the dad from the Wonder Years in here, and he's the the chief. And his daughter is the medic that helps the spirit, who also has a fling for the spirit. And that's another thing. The spirit is a man whore in this motherfucking movie, man. He he almost kisses almost every woman he comes across as. The only person he doesn't kiss in this movie is Sterling Kattuck. That's the one you should have kissed because besides Scarlett Johansson, Sterling Kattuck is my second my second favorite uh, female actress. I, ooh, yeah, boy. And she's Canadian too? Oh, damn. How did Canada get all the good ones? Anyway. Yeah. Don't waste your time on the spirit. It's fucking stupid. Okay? It's it's supposed to be entertaining when it's supposed to be. And when it is, I laugh a little bit. So I did get some chuckles. And I, did, I, did, I did get a little bit of a laugh out of it. But you're not going to remember it. In 12 hours. So I'm going to give the spirit a D. For dumb shit. Because literally this movie is dumb as fuck. <laughs> you even got henchmen in here with names on their fucking shirts. Okay. I wanted to call them the Three Stooges. But later on there's like six or seven of the same fucking dudes. I'm like. Where the fuck did they all come from? He only made. He only tried to make one. Attached to a foot with a very small head, and that was fucking stupid. <sighs> How do you fuck up one of the best comics ever written? It's written for you, Frank Miller. What the f the fuck? Why would you be? Why would you make a movie PG thirteen and then have Eva Mendes uh, print out a copy of her ass? And it's not the hard, it's not the hard R rated kind. What was the point of that shit? Just a waste of great female talent. This ain't like WWE where they use models for everything. These ain't models. This is top of the line talent. Stan Akatic, Scarlett Johansson, Eva Mendes. And they're just wasted. Jamie King and this motherfucker. I don't get it. I don't get it. Let me know what you guys think about this piece of shit down below. You like it? Did you hate it? Ugh. I'm out.